Last week we broke breaking news about Victoria West hiring a new baseball coach in Jay Perez. But earlier today, 25 News Now sports reporter Ray Robinson got a chance to talk to the new head coach in charge. Victoria West High School has just announced that interim head coach Jay Perez is now the official head coach for the boys varsity baseball team. This hire come as the team gets ready for the 2024-2025 season, a season that coach already has his eyes set on. Well, the, the athletes, um, you know, come to find out, you know, through the last semester, last season, man, they're great kids. They're great kids. They're fun to be around. They love each other. And it's, it's pretty, they make it easy on me. I know that. And so building that relationship with them, spending that time with them throughout the off season and everything uh, really helps us to build that culture and continuity. His experience isn't just mainly on the baseball field. He's also a strength conditioning coach for the men's varsity football team. Both tasks that require great attention, but it's still manageable. Well, I, don't, I, I wouldn't say it's stressful. You know, at West, um, we, we try to get our athletes to play as many sports as possible. We want them to be involved in everything that they can and compete as much as they can. So really, it's a matter of what can we do to build athletes not just specifically football players or baseball players or basketball players. So we want them to be well-rounded. So it, it all kind of runs together for us. Ray Robinson, KAVU 25 News Now, Sports. Thanks, Ray. And also, we highlighted last week Full Force Gymnastics here in Victoria for placing top eight in nationals in Fort Worth. The top eight are awarded overall medals, and most of the gymnasts competed against 40 to 70 athletes. One of the coaches in Chad Ganaway talks about how proud he is of, of Team Red's performance down in Fort Worth. Really awesome because it was uh, most of the team's first year ever to compete at nationals, so you really never know how they're going to do on that stage. And so for them to all show up and be, you know, a lot of them compete against 70 to 80 athletes. So to be able to get up there from Victoria, Texas and be in the top eight is a pretty proud moment for everyone. In all, Full Force made Victoria proud are now moving into a two-week break period for the team. You can see more details and some of the gymnast interviews on my complete story for 25 News Now at 6 and 10 p.m. this Saturday. And again, we can't wait to share more full force coming up this weekend, but we're moving over now to the Diamond. The Generals won 11-3 over the Baton Rouge Rougarou at Riverside Stadium last night. They got some big contributions from number five, Trey Broussard, but four RBIs in the game. And then obviously that's more than obviously the Rougarou had in total, which is just crazy to think about, but also Anthony Avalos, he would chip in with a solo shot in the first inning, and he had two RBIs in total last night. The Generals are back tonight on the road tonight against the Brazos Valley Bombers in Bryan, Texas. First pitch is at 7.05 p.m. And now finally over to the majors. The Rangers swept the Chicago White Sox today with a 2-1 to one victory at Globe Life Field. First starting with Matt pitcher Max Scherzer. He had great throwing time strikeouts today. He passed Justin Verlander on the career K's list today. And also looked at it, Marcus Simeon. He had a solo shot to left field. It tied the game at one. And then Leody Tavares rounded out to a fielder's choice. However, that run would just be the difference in the game as the Rangers swept the White Sox in this series. And they travel to Toronto tomorrow night. See him wish him luck. That's all in sports. Don and Karina, back to you.